Hey, what is up everybody? It is Wick here and it's a beautiful morning and I'm out thrifting and looking for things to find, looking in the craft aisle, trying to find anything to flip on Amazon or FBA. Going to nine thrift stores today, so pretty optimistic I'm going to find something to flip. Here's some catwalk hairspray or something. I'm not sure what that is. Some of those types of things sell really well on eBay, so you got to be vigilant and keep an eye out for them. And just looking around, not seeing a whole lot, but I did see this Garth Brooks, the first five years set for $6.99. It was $40 originally. I thought, sure enough, I could sell this for some money. It sells brand new with free shipping on eBay for $6.88. So I assume Amazon looked that up, or, e or Goodwill looked that up, um, seen it on eBay and just priced it at $6.99. So I'm over in St. Francis now and they got a lot of electronics out. $19.99 a piece for these combo units and there's a Magnavox recorder. Uh, unfortunately no remotes for these units and I start filling the cart of some stuff that I'm interested in. Uh, that's a pretty good recorder right there, Panasonic, so I throw that in the cart. But I have to look up all the model numbers and see how much the remotes are and just make decisions based on all that. Over here in the games, I'm looking for anything that stands out, anything unique that I have never seen before thrifting. I feel like I've seen all this stuff a hundred times. I've been thrifting for the last almost decade at this point, so I just see a lot of the same things. If you see anything, let me know in the comments uh, what you've seen, what I missed, and uh, also put in the comments something you found in the last month, your best find in the last month. I'm really curious to hear what people find. I love hearing about that kind of stuff. In this Goodwill, I'm just looking in the glass area and come across this jog-proof Philips CD player. And these things sell for about 15. They're not a big sale, but they're a consistent seller. So I was gonna pick it up and I'll open it up. Of course, there's battery acid residue around the sides. And that's enough for me not to buy it just simply because I only make seven or eight dollars on it. And to clean that and test it and do all that, I'm putting too much time in it to make seven or eight dollars. So I just leave it behind. Some of the Sony ones though do very well. Look what I found there. There's something really big. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I'll show you here in a second. So I just got out of the second to last Goodwill I'm going to today. I got one more stop. This is a pretty good stop. It hasn't been that exciting of a day. I got a few good pickups. I'll go over everything here in a bit once I get home, but Here's three items I picked up in that one. I got this LG DVD recorder remote. Uh, wasn't a price on it, but they sold it to me for 99 cents, so that's good. It only wor it's only worth about $15. So I'll make about $10 after fees and shipping. Unless I have that DVD recorder, I think I do have an LG recorder. If I happen to have the recorder uh, that goes with this remote, I'll be happy. Otherwise, I'll probably just flip it. I picked up this Unisonic Casino 7. Uh, I guess it's got like a blackjack game built into it or something. It was $1.99 uh, vintage. Uh, I meant to look this up and I just had it in my hand and I just went and paid. I seen it in my hand like, oh, I didn't look that up. But it was only $2. So, uh, yeah, there's only one on eBay for $19.99. There's no solds. I don't know how long it'll take to sell. Uh, I'll probably price it just at $14.99 and um, hopefully it moves if it does i'll make about 10 bucks on this as well it'll ship very light and then the winner if anyone is familiar with video games retro games all that stuff they know exactly what this is this is very valuable i'll have no problem selling this for 75 bucks it is a game boy player you can see the gamecube there that little black uh, game boy player adapter uh, this comes with it, and this the Game Boy adapter is pretty common. I think it sells for around 30 to 40 bucks, uh, but the CD you have to have to run it. It's pretty uncommon. So this is the first time I ever found one of these in the wild, at least in my memory. I have found the Game Boy players. I actually have one, I know for sure. So being a, a retro game collector, you kind of want to keep it. But honestly, when am I ever going to use this? I paid a dollar for it. I'll sell it minimum uh, $75, and this thing will ship first class, no high shipping costs. It's in great condition. I uh, could even pair a Game Boy player if I have an extra one and 
probably sell it for about 100 120 maybe uh, so great great pickup in there I guess if you're not familiar with retro games this would be a pretty big bolo something to look out for when you're out at thrift stores or garage sales or anything like that I am back home I was out about six hours today I hit nine thrift stores and this is all I got but looks can be somewhat deceiving sometimes is it about the quantity in fact, I like days like this where I find uh, just a few good items rather than, you know, getting 10 items that I can make $10 a piece on. That's just more work to do. Um, but yeah, let's go over this stuff and I'll show you what I got. And uh, start right here, this Pentax camera. Uh, this one was $2.99 at St. Francis. I picked it up. Looks like it sells for $29.99. It's in really clean condition. I'll put some batteries in it, make sure it fires. It's a film camera, 35 millimeter. So if it does, I'll price it at that. Should make about 20 bucks in the end. And then St. Francis was really interesting today. They had a lot of uh, new electronics that were priced a little high, but not outrageous like some of the other stuff there. Uh, there were two DVD recorders. I picked up this Panasonic one at the bottom. No remotes for any of this stuff, unfortunately. This is a pretty good model. Uh, I'll sell it on eBay without the remote for about 130 bucks. And if I can get a remote for it for like 10 bucks, I've seen a generic remote uh, on eBay, I think, for $10. So if I can get that, I may sell it on Amazon. And then I can probably get around 200 for it. This is a pretty good model because it has HDMI port in the back. There's also a Magnavox DVD recorder there, and I thought that was going to be money because I've sold Magnavox DVD recorders for three to four hundred dollars used on Amazon so I was pretty excited but I looked it up didn't have a remote of course and it wasn't on Amazon and on eBay it was only selling for about eighty dollars and that was with the remote so spending twenty dollars you also don't know if these are gonna work I can't return them to St. Francis it's not like Goodwill where I can return them if they don't work so I am taking a risk I'm spending forty dollars here and but I don't probably going to make minimum $175 on these and if I can get a remote cheap probably more the Sony right here I'll sell this on on Amazon for 130 no problem because I have like two remotes for that model I find that model a lot there's some other models there like just combo units like Panasonic and I think Gold Star or something no remotes also $20 just not going to mess with anything like that there may have been some money to be made but again, not being able to return stuff that don't work is kind of iffy to buy anything like that. Here's just a PlayStation 2 controller I picked up for $1.99. It is in really clean condition. And I picked this up. I'm not going to sell it on its own. I will bundle this with PS2 Slims, which I just picked one of those up uh, a few days ago at Goodwill. However, that one had two really nice controllers, so I won't be bundling it with that one. But I do come across PlayStation 2s fairly often in the wild and this is a nice controller to bundle with it and for two dollars can't beat that I believe by themselves on eBay they only sell for like ten dollars so it's not really worth selling it by itself in my opinion got these three items which I showed in the car so great profits on these especially the the Game Boy or the GameCube Game Boy adapter really cool find there this was a pretty good find I think I had to pay $24.99 for it but it's in the box Box is really clean and everything's in there. I opened it up. I thought it might be new inside, but upon further inspection, uh, like the remote's in there and that had been opened, took out of the plastic and put back in. So hopefully it works. Since it was bought at Goodwill, I can return it within seven days. So I will get that out of the box and tested. I can sell it on eBay and I'll probably make 25, 30 bucks on it. But looking on Amazon, it's looking a lot better and with everything complete in there and everything in good condition. The box, I feel comfortable selling it on Amazon for $149.99. There's actually someone got one listed for $300 and some dollars. But then the, the other buyers are around the $150 mark, $180 mark. It has a little bit of a high rank, $32,000 in the camera category, which is kind of high. So I'll price it competitively and I'll still make a little over $100 profit in the end on this. Then finally I just picked up these Morale shoes. These are pretty basic, nothing special. They're a little dusty, a little dirty. I'll do a quick cleanup on them and list them and I don't know, we're just going to estimate low. Probably $10 profit is all. It's, it's possible I get $15 or $20. I don't 
think they're anything sought after. But this is a brand that people will pay $20 or $30 for kind of basic shoes uh, pre-owned. That's it for the video, everybody. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button on the way out. And don't forget to ring that bell. Otherwise, you might not see my videos when they go live. And I know you don't want to miss any of my videos. That would be tragic. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.